Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to guest by the supper. So today we'll be reacting to Bilbo. Today's performance is on women's sports, what men think but can't see. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get started. Yeah. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. They had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, why is that? Uh, literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV, because you don't sell any fucking tickets! Nobody is going to women's soccer games! You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena, 1,500 people show up, that's not a good night! The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know? But nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? It's not our fucking job. It's not my fucking job to give a fuck about women's soccer, okay? I have men's sport to pay attention to. This is, it's your bullshit, right? Dude, look at the WNBA. Nobody in the WNBA got COVID. <laughs> Nobody. They have been playing in front of three to 400 people a night for a quarter of a century. Not to mention, it's a male subsidized league. We gave you a fucking league. None of you showed up. Where are all the feminists? None of you, none of you went to the fucking games. None of you. You all, you failed them. Not me. Not men. Women failed the WNBA. Ladies, ladies, name your top five all-time WNBA players of all time. Come on. <laughs> Name five WNBA teams. Name the WNBA team in your fucking city. You can't do it. You don't give a fuck about them. They play night in and night out in front of nobody. It's a fucking tragedy, right? And then meanwhile, you look at the Kardashians, they're making billions. You know those Real Housewives shows? They're making money hand over fist because that's what women are watching. <laughs> the money listens. You don't want to watch this shit, you watch this shit. <laughs> and you shoot it over there, drowning these whores in money. <laughs> Purses and shoes and Botox. It's just raining. It's raining. <laughs> well, I, I agree with him. You see, when he said, you know, when he mentioned the Kardashians, I, I agree. But I think I have a solution to this problem, mm -hmm. you know. I've seen a whole lot of, you know, ladies, at, well, let me say African ladies, when it comes to this, uh, you see, Turkish movie, um, this King kind of drama. fantasy, whatever, <laughs> you know, seeing guys with this six pack, full chest and everything, you know, on the screen, they want to watch. Mm -hmm. So I think the best thing is you go to this soccer team, then make those men cheerleaders. You see, they should be there, you know, hearing the women playing the ball. Like, the whole lot of women want to come and watch, you see, just yes. to watch the men, watch yes. their body and the rest yes. of it. So yes. they'll sell more tickets. I think that's the best solution, actually, because I, I would go and watch them. You see? <laughs> it, it's, actually, it's actually funny. That, like, what you saying is actually true. Women yeah. don't actually watch women's sports. That's true. It's like, what is there to watch? There's no... There's... It's just drama. There's, <laughs> there's nothing to watch. Okay, they're playing well, but there's no fun in it. But then watching the males play is actually more fun than watching the women play. I don't know, but that's how I feel about it. You can, they can, we can start all the, but then we, we wouldn't finish watching the game. Just well, I, I switch to something else. I feel maybe that's not what they really have passion for, you see. Yeah. Because you, you need you need something that will make you talk. Something that will cause drama. So mm -hmm. we need that drama in the sport. <laughs> so if you want to sell your ticket, find something that you know they love doing more. Something dramatic. <laughs> I, I think it's 
um, I think they call it divisional therapy, you know. You bring something else, but you're trying to introduce them to something else. Mm-hmm. Just bring their mind back home. So I don't know. Yes, women are doing a whole lot, especially when it comes to sports. So I feel we should find a way to encourage them, you see. Yeah. Aside from men going there, if if you're at home and you're watching women soccer or women, you know, basketball or whatever, and your husband come inside and see... He'll be surprised, you see. Now you are yeah. introducing him to it. You're like, you what happened to K-drama? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let's continue. The money. Yeah. So, the money listens. You'd rather watch that shit. Real housewives, bunch of women just tearing each other down. Well, maybe that's why your husband left you. Maybe that's why your husband left. That's why you can't have kids, bitch. That's why your ass is as flat as your titties, bitch. Right? <laughs> That's the message you sent. We would rather watch that than see a bunch of women come together as a, as a team and try to achieve a common goal. We would rather watch them actually fucking destroy each other. Yeah. No, no, no. And then in the end, you come back and you fucking yell at guys. Like, and it's like, all right, so let me get this straight. I have to buy you a drink, stop the axe murderer from coming through the fucking window. And I have to watch WNBA games for you. Like, when are you going to pick up your end of the couch? (laughs) Yeah. I don't have, no, I don't have any sympathy for women when it comes to shit like that because every study they've ever done to determine who's smarter, men or women, every study comes back and says women are smarter. Every fucking one. Ladies, you shouldn't be applauding that. (laughs) You know I'm an asshole. You know this isn't going to end well. <laughs> Did he say I'm pretty? Ah, oh Get out of the relationship. <laughs> if every study says that you're smarter, okay, the question you should be asking yourself was, we're so goddamn smart, how are we in the situation we're in? Well, <laughs> you're in the situation you, you're in, not because of guys like me, as much as you want to blame me. I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, ladies, you can't tell me you never drove by a sports bar on a football Sunday and looked at the humanity in there. All those dumb guys with their big beer bellies bumping shit. Hey, it's on my fantasy team. <laughs> I'm top, man. Want to get some more mozzarella sticks, man? As a woman with your bigger brain, you never looked in there and thought to yourself, I'm fucking losing to that. I'm losing to that. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you other than the fact that you guys are just into destroying each other. No, now it's going to get quiet. (laughs) I see all that sneaky shit you do. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, you know? That league would be doing better numbers than the NBA. (laughs) Wow. Wow. This is is, is 100% true, you know? Yeah. But I feel, I still have that belief that um, if soccer is not... In short, I know what works for women, you see. I, I don't know, it's my own opinion. I see women as builders. You see, because everything you give them, they try to, you know, make good use of it. So let's, I think that's the feed that will work, you know, especially when it comes to, you see, home. You're a man, you have a wife, you know that your, your, your home will be good because they are there to make sure everything is working well. Because that's, that's what you see. I, they do it with this passion. We, we are impatient. That's what, if you ask me to go to the kitchen to prepare food, you just need to give me like, 10 minutes, I'm done preparing everything I know I need to eat. <laughs> when you give a lady that same food item, she's going to take almost, let's say, 30 minutes to one hour yeah. to prepare that same food. So that is it. The patient is there. So let's say stuff like, you know, ruling. I think they, they can do good when it comes to politics because, you know, they are very patient. They study everything yeah. before they take any decision. Because you see, men, we're after big bum bum, big nyash. <laughs> you see, that's, that's our feed. But when it comes to women, before a woman will decide to date this guy, he yeah. has to, you know, calculate, do her math, uh-huh, yeah. before they can come out to the final decision. Okay, I will, I will date you. You see, they, they are very, very smart, you see. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so guys, that's it. Yeah. I, I actually like the way he passed the message to women, saying that we should support women's sports yeah. instead of supporting other things. It's good to support other things, like yeah. he said, but then, I mean, because the, honestly, like he said, sometimes when you're watching women's sports, the audience is scanty. Yeah, that's Like, true. you just see people... <laughs> You can even, if you decide to count them, yeah. you'll be able to count them. It's just scanty. <laughs> Golf, whatever, so, soccer. You just see them. It's scanty like that. But then, men, basketball. You see, the, the entire place is full, like, and it's, <laughs> it's even over. Yeah. But then, I mean, he's, he's right. We should support the women sports. Yeah. That's true. Support them. Anyway, I, I agree with Bubo and we want to check out more of his, you know, his stand-up comedy. Yes. If you have any recommendation, let us know in the comment section. I'm glad to be reacting this video with my amazing guests. By the support. Thanks for watching. I remember this. Yeah.